Engineer 775 here wanting to talk to you about a cool product. It's called the Quick Bolt and it is from Solar Roof Hook. And they're in my neck of the woods in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We've seen them at a few solar shows. This is the first job I get to help out on with the Quick Bolt. And they're prepping the roof now. Abraham and Johnny have just finished uh, the layout of 13 modules on this garage roof. And the beauty of the Quick Bolt is that you do not have to put flashings in sometimes you can spend all day on putting a flashing in for your um l your l feet and we're gonna i'll show you ours we're doing the snapping rack basic l foot l bracket here hopefully you can see this in the bright sun these will be mounted to the top of the solar roof hook 5 16 lag and then we have these flange bolts to hold that on there with the beauty of these is that you can run these right into your rafters and it will make a seal. They've tested this in the lab, they've tested on a variety of racking, and so it will definitely seal. So there's no... So the beauty with most new uh, architectural shingles you have what is called like a hurricane strap and they've put a lot of extra strength in the shingles to, to make it very difficult to put a flashing kit in. And so these, you don't have to tear up the shingles, you don't have to break through that strip, you can run them right down. So they're about to get set up here to run some solar roof hooks down. The other thing is this disc is big enough, so what we do is pre-drill to find that rafter, make sure we're really in it. And if you're off a little bit, you still have plenty of room to make a correction. And uh, what are you using, Johnny, for goop? We are using uh, manufacturer-approved sealant for the roof, which this is about the most popular one right now. It's a JTS. So, for everything but clear, we're using that JTS 130 mule high product. And what are you doing on it? Are you just putting a dab of it on the gasket? And we're going all. We're going like all the way around, and then we'll cut, do like a little dab right there. Okay. And we'd shoot a dab in the hole. On the hole. On the hole. Right, and, and then, then we'll run her in. It. Yeah, and it, it it actually dimples this in. But they've tested it over and over. They do not leak, oh, yeah, folks. Had it pressurized water, and that's what I use for clear MP125. All right. So this is uh, this is really a game changer. Kind of comparable to the game changer we feel that uh, Everest mini rail is on a metal roof. But the jury's still out on that one, isn't it, Johnny? No. No, we're good. This is the rainiest year we've ever had. The roof's gonna leak, it's leaking now. Yeah, we have had crazy, well everybody in the southeast has had crazy amounts of rain and no no roof leaking, so that's great. All right, these guys are harnessed up. They got their quick bolts going, they got their goop. I'll come back here in a little bit. The pro tip is to bend it both ways, so when you do it, you know which way to it. So we're making sure we're on the if we miss the stud, which side of the, where we're going. This is just a fact of solar. You want to be in the center. You want to be in the center of that stud. You want to be in the center of that, that stud. Rafter. You want to see curlies. When you, pull it, when you pull that drill out, you want to see little curlies. And then you want to go back and visually inspect it afterwards. And um, if you miss the stud, it's called a blowout. Not <gasps> a good day. Not a good day. All right. Sorry about the wind noise, folks, but that's the that's what you got to deal with when they're up on the roof and you're outside. So a little dab on the hole. Quick bolt. Our first quick bolt is going in. Got a six millimeter driver. Little dimple. The 
they've pressure tested that, no leaks at all. Alright, we have a selection of the quick bolts already put on. Abraham's about to do another one. He's already pre-drilled the rafter. Again, putting a little JTS on everything. Do a little spiral on the quick bolt gasket. It's called mule hide. It's called mule hide. Mule hide sounds a lot cooler. Yeah, it does. Alright, he's running one in now. Dimple it a little bit, and it's set. Nice. I hate to say it, but a lot of this is by feel. You gotta feel it. You gotta hear it, you gotta feel it. You gotta live it.